What up, Melvin7 here, and today EA have released the top 10 strongest players on FIFA, so let's kick this off with number 10, Kendall Watson. Now, the funny thing is, they haven't actually showed what their strength is. All they do is show, obviously, physicality on the card, and as you'll see going down the list, it doesn't really matter what their physicality is because it doesn't tell you the strongest rating, which is kind of dumb if it's a top 10 strongest, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. I've got the link in the description to the article if you want to see it for yourself without me speaking through it. Next, we've got Florian Barras, and exactly, see what I mean? 9th, 71 physical compared to 10th, 86 physical. So I don't actually know what their strength is. Like, they, they haven't said it in the article. Number eight, we've got Colin Bonner, who's 60 rated, but apparently very strong. Obviously, a lot of these players will be very tall, as, uh, as seen on this. Then we've got Hakim Araba in seventh, uh, a bronze player again. A lot of these are probably never going to be used, but they're strong in real life, so, you know, they'll be strong in the game, I suppose. Next, we've got Yannick Vestergaard, who is a uh, Mon Gladbach center back with not a lot of pace so he's not going to be that desirable but he's very strong fifth we've got wilfred boney now this one's a well-known player and uh, maybe a little bit surprising does he really deserve to be the fifth strongest player on fifa i'm not too sure because he's been benched a lot by manchester city obviously he's got a loan to stoke this season though so we'll see a lot more of uh, him playing like he did for swansea i suppose number four we've got abdul bar um, I, I literally, I've never heard of half these players, so uh, I can't really comment on them. Next, we've got Roman Torres, a 72 rated centre-back. I think that's for the Seattle Sounders. And again, a lot of these players don't have pace, but they're just very strong. And then EA have fucked up. Number two is George Elikubi. And then they've put a picture of Neymar there. So, yeah, I, I just, I don't understand. Like, uh, I've tried to refresh the thing. By the time you look at it, it'll probably be updated with a proper guy. But for now, it actually says Neymar. And I just don't understand them. And number one, as I'm sure many people will know, is Odebayu Akinfenwa. I think that's how you say his first name. But, yeah, everyone knows this guy because of KSI's videos. And then, you know, they blew up and now... Uh, now he's kind of, uh, what would you call it, socially famous on uh, social media and uh, FIFA obviously do a lot of things with him, well EA, so uh, yeah, it's no surprise there, but again, he's only going to be used because of his name, really, but he's the strongest player on FIFA. Then we've got the top 10 physical players, which we can actually measure, so we started off with Tony Tashani. Uh, with 88 physical, 6 foot 4 CDM looks very, very good for a silver card. Then we've got Nemanja Matic, again with 88 physical, going to be overpowered in the Premier League like he has been in the last two FIFAs. Then we've got Islam Slamani, a new Leicester signing, 88 physical for him as well. We've got another Chelsea player coming in seventh, Diego Costa. We all know what his antics are in the Premier League, and uh, yeah, definitely deserves that 88 physicality. Then we've got Anderson Aceti, 89 physical Nigerian, so two boys going to be using him a lot in his squads, I would imagine. Looks like a decent CDM purely because of his height and his physicality. Then we've got Jelly Van Damme, 89 physical for him. Uh, the MLS has a lot of strong and physical players on this game, so they might get used a bit in squad building challenges. Who knows? There might be something for the strongest players, so you might need to know them. Then we've got Victor Wanyama, Spurs' new signing, 89 physical for him. So, uh, yeah, it looks like a good card in the midfield to hold, um, to you know be the anchor, I suppose, 6 foot 2. Then number three, we've got a Hearts player, I think, Callum Patterson, 90 physical. He's six foot two and he's a right back and he's got a fair bit of pace, to be honest. 82 pace for that kind of uh, physicality is very, very good. Then Cheek Ndoye is number two, 90 physical again. And uh, he's six foot four, looks like a very good midfielder. And number one is uh, Marouane Fellaini. I'm very happy with that. Uh, Manchester United, 78 rated overall. So we know his rating, six foot four. And uh, yeah, he is actually overpowered on FIFA if uh, you've used him in the last few years, purely because of his height and how strong he is. Well, his physicality is 90 officially, so uh, yeah, he's the strongest, well, no, the most physical player on uh, FIFA 17. So let me know what you think of these ratings. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.